Hi guys, welcome to part 13 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. For the first time ever, I've decided not to do the gathering. The what is the gathering? I call the gathering when I decide that the layout is almost complete and I take all my Lemax collection, all my Lemax buildings, all my Lemax everything and in a very very long session between 13 to 15 hours I place each and single one of them on the layout. Then from there I start creating micro scenes around uh, each building from, for the rest of the season. This has always been possible with A, the layout almost complete, it's not the case. B, all the surface I want at my disposal. And for this 2023 season, more than half of the surface is already taken by the Viking fishing village. So, right now, in advance, because gen I generally do the gathering between the end of October and the first two weeks of November, I need to decide what building is mandatory for this 2023 season and start adding them right now. Obviously, many buildings from my collection will not be present on this 2023 season, but I have new buildings uh, right now. And I will also need to reserve a little space for the new building, the new Lemax building. You know that each season I buy at least one new building from the Lemax collection. I still haven't bought anything for this 2023 season. Don't worry, I will get there in a couple, maybe three weeks. I will inform you of that when I will do my annual uh, adventure trip to my um, beloved uh, Christmas store. But let's continue. Uh, I needed to switch the camera. Hi guys, I will pass through once and then two when I come back. Hi guys. Uh, I decided it is time to start uh, taking in consideration this little monster here. This revolutionary uh, section here. I needed to start adding some props to it to get where I want it to get. It will be a surprise, not revealed in this part 13 of course, but you will start um, understanding where I want to go. The elevator that you aren't seeing right now and I will pass through once again, sorry guys, I'm passing through. The elevator that was there is now drying because I started painting it, painting, painting it, sorry, and I will complete it. Then I will also modify the weight of the level with the uh, scriptorium and the cathedral. You will see the third part of the cathedral, the outer balloon is still standing guys, but I will add a fourth leg because I've modeled a little stump, a little um, tree stump that I will use to anchor the um, outer balloon to the ground that I forgot to do that. Then, then, then guys, this little guy here, sorry, you aren't seeing anything. It is the lion tamer, guys. The lion tamer from last season with lions and tigers, obviously, that is mandatory in this carnival here. I want a lion tamer. But the cage, guys, I can't have a, a lion tamer and lions and tigers on a stage without a cage. The cage I've uh, did for my three ring circus was a cylindrical very tall uh, cage it's not suited for the geometry and the layout of the carnival it's not a ring it's not a circus it's a carnival with some lion tamer so i will need to figure out a new type of cage 
modular obviously because this is the password for this 2023 season modular things modular props modular everything that will allow me to add the lion tamer and mm, its little companion roar to the layout then 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 something else guys uh, when I tr decided to go with the elevator, I told you that uh, I also had in mind an elevator having the shape of a crane. But I cancelled that idea, but it is still in here. Why not uh, using that idea to create uh, something useful for the docks? And then, and then I don't know right now. Yes, I will need to modify I already told you the uh, scriptorium and cathedral layout because it is not enough tall to accommodate the elevator, enough too long. I need to start showing you something more interesting. Hi guys, Monday night, plain middle of the night. Uh, for next part, I will need to figure out a little problem. I want this little guy in my carnival this is my lion tamer and the tame my lion tamer there okay and the lion i also have another lion and the tiger from last season circus three ring circus and these these two guys were surrounded by my circular cylindrical tall cage or copper cage okay i want this little guy into my 2023 carnival but i don't have a cage the cylindrical one it's not suited for the layout i have right now i need something different uh, i don't know right now and I need some time to model and to 3D print that very quickly. This time I will use something like that. Uh, if I went with a cage, a cage can be a cube, can be a something more different. But if I go like that I can go like that with something obviously in 3D like that and as always I will do quick this time because I maybe uh, not maybe absolutely modular okay like that that will be obviously empty inside not a cube uh, nothing else and I was thinking each and single one of the side maybe like that maybe like that uh, with some vertical bars obviously as a cage will be and with some supports like I don't know I don't know if you remember some old western prisons that were almost done like that horizontal and vertical like that these are a little thicker than the bars okay something like that uh, maybe this one is too large I will get that otherwise the lion can and the uh, and all the the other the lion and the tigers can escape and get out okay so I don't want that to happen I don't want that to happen so So maybe 
narrower bars, narrower space between bars like that. But I also need uh, a front or maybe a lateral side with with a door. So maybe I will not do this layout, but I will do something like that, the same layout, maybe like that. With the same layout. And with here a little door, a little, a little door like that, that we connected here and there, here open with, uh, uh, with something that, with a lock. with something like that, that will go with slide in and slide out with a um, docking mechanism like that and these always to let you see through with the same design so maybe like that I will mark these black Okay. Yes. Like that. The door there and then everything else uh, <coughs> and the other side like that. The problem is that I can do that in one single piece like that. like that but 3d printing this will be a hell each and single horizontal part that is not on the ground will need the supports otherwise this will not be a straight line but you will have something falling down instead of being horizontal this is the principle of an FDM printer. If you wanted to print this without the supports, you need that each and single one of the parts are connected to the print bed. But if I design these, all the horizontal parts, this one, this one, and this one, will not be connected to the ground. Will no, not add support. Yes, in intersection with the bars will be connected to the ground but not here in the space between so it will fall down because the filament will uh, be extruded from the extruder and will not uh, find a flat surface to um, to drop on and so we'll get through with, fi with uh, parts of filaments getting everywhere a very bad thing so I think I will go modular I need to go modular with single pieces like that to be flat on the on the level on the bad level okay it's like having the bed like that and then each single part flat on the bed like that and then the printer will print only a few millimeters from the bed on top so it will be mm, modular each single piece it will be simple geometry but the problem is that I want these to be assembled after printed so I will need something to join to connect the side okay the side together with lateral side and front side so I don't know right now maybe
maybe something like that with this part empty and this part empty that will connect um, the the bars there that will be around the circular bars so like he like having that like that here obviously like that but this is good if I have to join the door and the front side together because they, they are on the same plan they are flat but if I want to go I need something something like that okay here is on the corner so it is oriented in the corner and then some space and then another one like that maybe like that so when it is here on the corner I will add this little connector here to the this bar here okay then this corner section on the corner bar on one of the corner bar maybe larger to get two bars together uh, in the corner at 90 degrees there you will have one bar from this side and one bar from this side connecting together so this will be a little larger getting two bars together and then this order will be here on this connection here so two bars connecting here one bar there and one bar there to connect the corners something like that quickly done I will need to model it this for the straight connection here or maybe even if I wanted to add simple another horizontal wall like that with no door here then this straight connector is good for what it is on the same plane on the same level when you have something at 90 degrees it is better to use something like that maybe maybe also like that two bars together I don't know right now I still need to model yes maybe two two bars from each side and then a double bar here in the corner to connect them enough uh, Monday maybe in a couple of days I will be able to show you the result of this little crazy design here good guys a little update on the cage it's not a Tuesday it's not even Wednesday but it is, it is Thursday night late Thursday night sorry I didn't get in time for Wednesday. It's a little different from what I had in mind. Not for the main components there, but I think for the connections. Uh, where is my paper? My paper, my paper. Okay. Here it is, guys. Little different if you can see that this it is almost identical to what I have designed there. But I didn't know precisely how to go for the corner at 90 degrees, so I modeled different type and different shades. It was impossible with the design I've chosen and my mistake to have said that here I can join two bars together no they have some space in between so the corner will be that with one bar here in the corner one other bar here in this other corner here maybe I must approach the camera okay I was saying this is almost identical to this design here this can be used in the corner but I don't know if it will be enough to avoid 
rotating on an axe. I don't know yet. And this is completely different here in the corner of what I have designed because my mistake of thinking of wrongly of the geometry of the corner. I can't have two bars in the corner because I also have a distance there that is the distance there. So this is the correct geometry, having a bar here having another bar here and then the geometry separating the two of them. I have modeled, so I have modeled. Uh, this one is taking in consideration everything, okay? This is a little different with a bar in the corner, a bar near here and another bar there. I don't know which one to use right now, but I need to experiment with these connectors. So here I have the front side with a locking mechanism there. Maybe I can check if it works. It needs to slide inside. Okay, better. Then the door will go like that, okay? So let's use a straight one. And they fit, I hope they fit. One here. One there. And then I simply need to slide it. And these can go inside or outside, okay? And it is sliding. Then the mechanism of, of the lock mechanism, it is like that and the door is locked it's not then you simply need to pull and then it will open okay for the side there if i use the straight connectors it can fit guys let me try the straight connectors okay it can work but it's going everywhere so it's good if you want to get let me add a second one i don't know if i have enough of them like that but the cage can can be, and this is good if you want the cage with some particular geometry, okay? If you want the cage to have a particular geometry. Let's remove, because even if you use it, you can remove them. Let's take a look to this corner one. And this is more good looking for the point of view because it is rounded like that, okay? But here also it is movable. Let's go to the other side with, let's say, this one that it is taking one side, the corner one and the near one, and this one too, 
it is taking one bar from each side then this one here it is fixed at almost 90 degrees okay guys it is fixed at 90 degrees these can can rotate and it is not very stable okay it is not very stable useful if you want to get something that is not that stable but with a particular geometry because this is only 90 degrees and stop if you want something to get a particular geometry you can go with this solution here but then it is not very stable okay maybe if you use a third one it will be more stable but it will fall down so not precisely what i wanted then obviously the cage can go also from the other side and let's use this other one here the cage can also go to the other side like that with an entry there and getting wherever you want it to go and with this geometry here okay you can also get these like that that's why I've made is like that okay you can also get a third one with some strange cage in the corner okay guys so it's up to you to decide not to break anything the first thing like that and like that wherever you want it to go for what i'm concerned i am missing a lion with just one side so a squared cage i will not have the space for everyone so i must go i must go with something different like that and then i don't have enough connector printed so i cannot finish this correctly but mm, you can also decide to go not a square it but with those one years to have another dimension but in this case it can be done like that okay guys so they fit inside absolutely correctly and the door obviously can close let's continue i'm sorry for the condition of these paper uh, you certainly remember my choice my choice number two as an elevator for accessing the scriptorium and cathedral level from the lower levels and I went with this little solution here. So I can sell it this first choice here, this first idea I got. But it was still deep inside my mind, uh, shouting at me that it was unfair not to use this. So why not use also this as a solution, not as an elevator, but as something useful for the docks for loading and unloading the boats and the ships was there 
by the way I'm sorry because during last part I've called this a wrench but it is a winch sorry guys my bad English as I always told you is always in my mind too many languages in my mind I'm sorry for that not a wrench because this is not a key but it is a winch something uh, with some rope getting uh, rolled and unrolled onto it winch not wrench sorry guys and that little idea get me here guys maybe on the black let me approach the camera once again triangles as always the base triangles and i've used the so many triangles for the base then i went a triangle here but instead of using the triangle here i went the opposite side because if i want something to get resistant in this side i will not have to place a prolongation here an elongation here no sense at all but you always need to go as physics dictate to the other to the opposite section to the opposite corner so instead of having this and then a triangle here it's better if you finish it like that and then go the opposite side for printing purpose i'm i don't uh, i didn't went I, uh, horizontally because these have been uh, because I it should uh, I should have used the supports and ruined everything so I went inclined and this was printed without supports what whatever it is under between uh, 90 degrees and 60 degrees like that uh, perfectly vertical to the ground like everything is there and then below 60 degrees and this is below 60 degrees or at 60 degrees it, it can be printed without a support so i printed this without support and like that and instead of having this horizontal i went the opposite way there and the winch will be here and this is some more triangles to get supports there for the heavy duties guys okay and then some other pieces uh, will like that another piece like that another piece like that those are twin pieces then two more pieces like that then a connector and then a little hook like that that I haven't clean it very well like that this is simple the hook will go inside here like that and that will be the hook like that let me do this at the end I need to have the winch there and I thought why not using a manual winch the same used by ancient in some ancient times so even vikings would have used that okay and uh, with the rope getting inside here the winch and getting rolled and unrolled and this was manually used was manually used applying forces here on these um on these parts here so the wheel will go this side or the other side i couldn't print this in a single piece so i will need to assemble this i will try to glue it using some resin as i use it to do recently and then i will go let me go this way Okay, then I will use a little of resin like that. Mm. 
like that. Then some UV lamp. I will need to paint this, but the crane with the man manpower at winch, not wrench, winch, it is working, okay? So the rope that it is in here get inside the winch and you can get it rolled and unrolled, okay guys? This was the main principle of medieval cranes okay like that i will not use constantly like that but it will be on the layout near the docks good guys i've added the a fourth leg here a fourth piece of rope i still add a couple of them from last part because i made five of them okay um, the intent was not to sustain the hot air balloon as it's simply a matter of placing three of the ropes correctly and, uh, uh, and the hot air balloon will stand by itself uh, as, uh, as it has been all along this past week. But my intent was to add a way of anchor the hot air balloon to the ground. So I modeled and printed and painted two, three stamp there, okay? That three stamp, okay? Like that. Uh, they, are, they, have, they have different diameters. This one is empty inside, this one is not empty. Uh, my intent is to provide uh, something like that. A way of anchor it to the ground maybe like that okay with this way of anchor to add an anchor to the to the to the other balloon maybe this is not uh, it is uh, too short maybe this one It is better. Well, it is time to assemble the elevator. Here I have all the pieces uh, finished, painted. I've uh, used one layer of primer, then a dark brown, then everything else is dry brushed, starting from sienna brown to some gray for the stones there, to some white only vertical, as I always do. 
all the models have, uh, all the parts have little holes that I will use to assemble all the pieces together. Change of glasses. I will use some pins that I will cut like that. Hope to have done it correctly. Uh, it's not enough deep. So this is going to be to be strange. Let's try to use some pins. If it doesn't work, I will change immediately. doesn't work like that I will do in another way I will get Let's try like that. Then I will take some filament. And let's try with some filament if it is better. Like that. And then if I can get it done like that. Yes, it is better with some filament. Now, next step, let's get the cabin inside, it fits, okay, but first the doors. Second door, like that. Then here I have the roof. Good, okay. Now, some rope, this is not rope, this is some little rope, but it is 
waxed. Okay, it has some wax. In this case, I prefer having some waxed because it tends to go straight. Okay, otherwise it is too thin. So let's have these. like that And the elevator is done, guys. Now, I have something strange here, guys. Maybe I can approach a little more the camera. This is from the top. This is from the side. Okay. This is from the side. So it tends to go uh, higher in the front of the camera. This is nothing more, nothing less than a big market stall s-t-a-l-l -L, a market stall but i don't worry i will not use it as a market store uh, <laughs> nothing revolutionary on a, in a market so i will not use this as a market stall it is a market stall but i will use it only to cover something to get something covered but a market stall comes with also a canopy in plain uh, summer, in plain desert, uh, a market stall don't need a canopy, okay, but in some northern hemisphere, in some northern um, climate, it may need a canopy. I could have 3D printed this with a canopy, but I didn't want this to be full covered top and then back as a canopy to protect what will be under the stall there but here i have something guys okay here i have a canopy that i will not use otherwise i will have uh, 3d printed it this is a canopy that piece of, uh, of um, fabric that it is almost there to get everything covered like that. Okay guys, but once again 
I will not use the canopy like that. Okay. I will try something more smart. Something that if I want the canopy, I can use the canopy. Okay. So let me mark. here and there. I will make a hole It is done. So the, the idea here is that if they want to get the canopy towards the front, they can get the canopy towards the front like that and then fix the rope. Okay, fix the rope once again like that. <coughs> like that. like that and if it is raining or snowing it will protect whatever will be <laughs> under the canopy same thing there they simply need to undo mm, the rope and they get also a protection from uh, the back side okay it is simply a way i have to not uh, mask the point of view of what it is here and what it is under this stall here and what will be in the back so you will be able to see and you will understand in some weeks <laughs> maybe next week I don't know if in some weeks why I need a protection like that while I need the canopy to be present like that, okay? Like that, with the ropes, it doesn't need to be perfect this needs to be as most realistic as possible
with the ropes and everything else. So this will be my vision of a, a stall that can be opened and closed with the roof that can be opened and closed. And once I've completed this, you will understand why I don't want the point of view, the camera hiding something under. I simply need to Now I want this not covered, so that's why I haven't fixed this. Like that. And like that, okay? I will adjust it lately with whatever I need to adjust. This is not straight and straight and enough. like this and this is the effect of something that is natural like that <coughs> that can go down and this can go into the front to protect whatever will be under this little stool not little but compared to the dimension of the section it is little see you in some minutes Final recap of part 13 of the 2023 series and voila the stall in place where I want it to be and by the way also new benches guys those are pure viking bench uh, ma entirely made in uh, wood okay I just finished the modeling them yesterday then quickly painted today I have four of them one, two, three, and then the fourth one is there. The, I still don't know where to place them, but here the stall. And you may understand from this point of view here why I don't want the canopy to be present towards the uh, bottom there, towards the floor and on top, because I want some point of view for the camera when the camera will pass through to see, for example, the legs of, uh, um, of Anubis round there, and it will attract the attention. But also here, uh, the camera we can uh, take a, a good view of what will be under the store there. With the canopy completely closed, it will be impossible to see that. But I wanted something that uh, would have... Um, allowed people to protect themselves in case of rain or snow because this is winter <laughs> we are near christmas and so it is a, a way of protecting uh, red and white because i wanted to attract the attention guys like that and the ropes are there etc this is 18 centimeters very tall because i will place something very tall inside there under the stall with some other things in the front here and the entrance will be here something very strange as i already told you something un unseen before this is the starting point maybe you ate the, how i placed the canopy like that but it was the the only way to get it perfectly natural uh, when you push and pull something 
you don't get something perfectly horizontal like that. This is fabric, and fabric tend to do strange movements. And also another reason why I haven't printed, I could have printed a canopy done like that, but very difficult to print. But with a real fabric like that, the point of view isn't uh, damaged by the canopy and it is functional like that. Another secret, this scene will allow you to change it if you want during the Christmas uh, festivities. So it is a way in front of everything, accessible in, in at any moment, and you can change figurines and props whenever you want. Never seen before, I told you, but let's continue. Here nothing has changed, still need to paint, but I will get there. The crane, guys, I placed the crane like that there. <clears throat> still need to paint it, but it works as you have seen, as you have seen, and it's still working. There, with the hook getting uh, goods on the docks or even on the boat, uh, obviously in that position it will not help this boat here to unload and load the goods, but only the ship that is there. Even if I place it there, and I can place it there, first thing it will um, waste some uh, very useful space I want for some scenes there. Uh, and then this can rotate, obviously this could uh, could rotate and then but people would have been <laughs> working and uh, operating the crane in, in the water. So I preferred to take it there and have it there with the goods uh, with this rotating obviously and uh, getting towards the boat, the main big boat there. Mandatory buildings, guys. The Slaters, still not the final position, but for now, mandatory buildings for residential reasons, Slaters. Then a blacksmith is mandatory in every village, in every Christmas village from Victorian era. A blacksmith was a, a, mechanic, a mechanic, so mandatory as a pub. A pub and docks and the sailors is mandatory, absolutely mandatory. Then other two buildings mandatory will be Nora's Christmas Boutique, absolutely mandatory, absolutely. I've already told you the best building, the beautiful building, the masterpiece of Lemax from the last 20 years. Nothing can achieve the perfection of that building, Nora's Christmas Boutique. And then a very tiny, a very small building, but with is, it is very fascinating. It is Lucy's Chocolate, chocolate Shop. <clears throat> there, from the distance, the elevator, guys. I didn't add three more centimeters from there to there. I simply add three more centimeters at, to this level here because adding three more centimeters there would mean wasting three more centimeters for the um, um, Santa's level, for uh, Santa's Wonderland level. I don't want that. But here it is the elevator, guys. I will need someone to operate it. I still don't have it. But this is how I will proceed. I will place maybe two rows of buildings uh, in this depth there. Having them uh, building here, nothing behind it. Then a building there and nothing in front of it. Then another building here, nothing behind it. And so on. So a way to get everything. Even the ice pond with the skaters on top of it, it's mandatory because it adds movements to the village and it is absolutely mandatory. 
I will add it. Then here, nothing has changed, guys, as I told you. But, uh, <clears throat> but I've finished modeling a sailor that will accommodate inside a boat. Still need to glue it to the boat and then paint it, but it was one of the uh, missing um, figurines I wanted. The hotel balloon, guys, it is there, still there, still functional, and now with four legs, it is even more stable, guys. I'm shaking it, I'm shaking it, and it stands, guys. Obviously, I've used some giant pins there, but they will be invisible. But uh, these legs, these ropes here, are effective, guys. I still need to add some gold here to paint some gold there and then the uh, the the tree stump i've modeled there is there with the rope and you have seen me getting all the rope around the stump then a little knot there then the rest of the rope here it was a way of anchor of using the tree as an anchor for the uh, hotel balloons. Otherwise, it just with the ropes, it will have uh, <laughs> gone up, 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 and away, up in the sky. There, guys, the cage. Let me get the cage in plain view. Maybe, maybe like that. Okay, it's a little. Uh, narrow okay it's 10 centimeters each section is 10 centimeters if I'm correct I've modeled it as 10 centimeters or 11 centimeters no 10 centimeters so this is 30 centimeters and then 10 10 centimeters in depth is not enough for a very good action maybe it's it works to go just with a two section but with two sections so a perfect square there i will try that solution so getting it like that with a square maybe inside a square because if this scene was visible inside a ring that was this dimension maybe a square of 20 by 20 centimeters is even larger than my last season um, scene inside the three ring circus so i will try that solution because this is absolutely modular okay and i will get some more space to add this stage that was there but if i use this stage i cannot use and uh, mm, the cage but if i have a, a perfect square head i can move it somewhere like that and have the stage behind the cage but i don't know right now so for the moment let it there uh, i don't like it in the other position i don't like it there because two good looking stages are the same in the same spot it's not that i will move the cage somewhere else maybe here in the beginning, maybe here, there, the cage in here. I don't know right now, but it's for uh, next part 13. And I will not move Anubis for, from its position there. I still have one piece to experiment, but uh, I will print <clears throat> more of them during the week. A little closer to the Maybe okay, guys. A little closer to the elevator, so with these three centimeters, the cabin will get perfectly aligned with the uh, floor, with the ground of the last level. There, for now, the last level, and that's what said. Um, little rope I've used is absolutely fantastic because it has a tension, it adds a tension to the rope 
and it simulates uh, the weight of the cabin applied to the to the rope. Without uh, this waxed, I should have used something rigid. But that waxed uh, rope is good enough. And from the top there, with the winch and everything else, I should uh, I will have to add um, a stairs uh, there there a stair stairs to get access to the winch uh, for the monks for one of the monks okay but I still need to model it the cathedral guys I finally uh, by the way I used another brand of filament for this part here so it is a little darker a little beige a little ivory compared to the, the other filament but anyway it is the same thing i printed it with the same um with the same print 3d printer this is the huge cathedral maybe now i will place it for a moment to this level here so i can show you why it took me so long to model the third part Good. Like that, guys. So the last part of the cathedral will be rounded, as I told you I would have tried to do with even another mosaic that will be held to, to paint in the center. And this part for next level will be absolutely hellish to do because I want some windows all around a circular and doing something, doing windows or doing cathedral windows such as those windows there, those big giant windows for, uh, from the scriptorium with the same, almost the same design, I will try to get around this circular section, some giant window. And this will be, I don't know, the sanctuary of the cathedral. I don't know how to call it right now. But this will be the huge cathedral, not very large because I don't have the space on top of there. I just have 26 centimeters, I think. How much? No, 30, 31.5 centimeters but I need to place the cathedral than something else. Maybe I will get a little more towards here because here 26 centimeter is maybe too much. Obviously this stair is not more suited for this eight year. I will have to redo it or add some more steps. But it's always like that when trying to perfect something, when trying to get uh, where I want to to get with this 2023 season. So the cathedral now needs the second level and then the third level will be the roof, I think. It will be huge, maybe a little less, uh, uh, not as huge as the scriptorium, but <coughs> because the, uh, the scriptorium is uh, deeper, it is wider. Because you will you have this length here from that point there for, to this point here that is as the same uh, width of the cathedral there but then the the covered part there the what is the clo some sort of a cloister but I don't think it is a cloister but it is some uh, covered arched part I don't know right now how to call it it add some more uh, deepness to the to the scriptorium so this is the third part this will be interesting guys and that's why i modeled it from this side because the camera will will try to get through the window and inside the cathedral if i place the camera right there uh, and i think it's Another time, even this time, I don't think it is very, very much what I did, but painting and trying to finalize the elevator was hell. 
then I modeled plenty of things this uh, week and also that uh, it's sometimes uh, I need to add um, some more elements to what I already did before continuing with some new adventure okay guys the barrels and the crates are not there because I started painting them but not finished so they are not here but these benches tell me mm, okay compared to Lemax and benches maybe they are a little bigger a little bigger wider certainly and the height is almost the same yes the height is the same they are they have the same height they are a little wider and a little deeper no the same the same that okay i try to model but a little wider because uh, i don't know if you have noticed it but when you have an empty bench uh, from lemax it is like that all the same dimensions but with the people seated on the benches they do the benches a little wider and a little taller okay it's a nonsense from lemax but i did uh, i i noticed that please uh, try to 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 take a look to your benches uh, and if you have uh, benches with people seated on it you will find it I still don't uh, I still uh, don't have uh, uh, taken from the uh, from the storage all my figurines so I can't show you right now what I mean but next with part 14 I will show you what uh, it is to have different <laughs> benches uh, different size benches from Lemax that is struggling me <coughs> so I use it this dimension here because it will allow me also to use my sitting um, figurines once i finished modeling it i've already started modeling two of them but not finished um, guys i think i've told you everything it was necessary to talk, to tell you this this will shock you i know will it will shock you not as a something i used to see but it will shock you believe me it will shock you okay uh some more mandatory buildings for next time and during the week i will decide where to place one two three four five of them nor as certainly not there because if i want some more um deep depth on the top level there uh, Nora's is at the limit so maybe I will get Nora's down uh, and some um, shortest building some shorter building uh, up there uh, see you for the outro guys yes absolutely stable with the fourth rope the fourth leg and no guys this is not a punching pole this is the first hot air balloon of my 2023 fleet of hot air balloons finished yes you are right where are the other balloons still nowhere guys because i really don't know how to model them because this is so good looking for me guys always for me that i don't know where to start modeling another one but i need to model another one fourth leg for cord, for rope, lion cage, that will be transformed in a square 20 by 20, I think. Third part of the cathedral, the elevator, guys. I think this is absolutely good looking. <laughs> Always for me, guys. Then the stall and the canopy. And by the way, guys, this third part of the cathedral will start giving me nightmares right now guys because it will be so so impossible to get windows around a circular wall like this one this is uh, three quarter of a circle guys so it will be a hell it will be a hell 
a hell inside a cathedral. It's a nonsense, but it is like that. Then the stall and the canopy from the other uh, camera, guys. Let me check with you. Yes, I know, guys, it's only a stall, a canopy, and a couple of benches. No wow effect to show you right now. I still need to model a couple of think things before uh, letting you see the wow effect, guys. Sorry, and I'm always looking uh, uh, towards that side there, towards that side there, because I have the monitor. The other camera has its proper monitor on top of it. This Sony camera here has not a monitor on top of it, simply because it will be too heavy to support. And then the crane guy there, um, <clears throat> it was a waste not modeling and 3D printing the other idea I had for the elevator. But guys, that solution, that elevator there, I think it's absolutely right for the scriptorium and cathedral level, guys. So let me go once again towards the other camera, guys, because it's all I had to show you. I don't want to get you my back, so I will pass here from there. Uh, something different will start from the next part. I will try to place other, uh, another three or four mandatory buildings. The French patisserie, guys, it is absolutely mandatory. The school, maybe the, also the church. Those are mandatory, absolutely the first ones, but the French patisserie, I absolutely need it because it is so rounded, so good looking, so uh, clear, so um, bright compared to other buildings that I need a bright building inside my uh, village. Then uh, barrels that are still uh, um, finishing uh, to paint that I still need to finish painting them. And, and what else? A couple of stages are still missing, don't you think? One, two, three, three stages for all the circus figurines I have? Not enough. I will add a couple more stages. One will be something very strange, okay? The other, another one will be a classic stage. I think I will do a classic stage. But the last one will be something wow also, guys. I don't know where to place them, but I need to have a couple more stages right now. And what else? I don't know right now. I still need uh, to, to model so many things that uh, I, I'm afraid I will be uh, behind the schedule. But for now, I'm still on schedule with what I planned uh, for my uh, new 2023 village. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big, huge thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing, you know, my absolutely awful English and see you for part 14, but only if you really want it. Bye guys.